Next, let's take a look at how to reverse a doubly linked list. Now, this is going to be very similar to reversing a single linked list. In that, what do we have to do? We have to, starting from that, from this example, right, we have one, three, and seven, one being the tail, seven being the head, we need to get to this linked list. Starting from seven, we have seven, three, and one, seven being the tail in this case, and head being one. Right, so this is basically reversing the whole linked list. What does that even mean inside our structure? Hmm. Well, let's take a look at individual nodes and start comparing them between the states. Now, this is the non-reverse, this is the reversed version. You'd notice that this guy, right, this guy is what? This guy is one arrow next is pointing to three, whereas one arrow next is null in our reversed list, right? We have nothing here. Then you might notice this guy. This guy is one arrow previous. In our reversed one is pointing to three. But in our non-reversed, in our initial state, this guy was null. So you might see this, uh, you might see that uh, the previous and the next got swapped. Right now, instead of one arrow next uh, pointing to three, one arrow previous points to three. And if you take a look at every single node, you'll notice the same thing. Right, three arrow next is seven, whereas down here, three arrow arrow previous is seven. Right. So for every single arrow inside our linked list, everything is swapped. Right. Previous is next, and next is previous now. Right. And since everything got swapped. Well, also the tail and head got swapped, right? And you got tail being seven and head being one. Now I have here the function that we have used to reverse the singly linked list. Now let's see how we do the same uh, with the doubly linked list by modifying this. So first, if you remember, we had to actually have a previous pointer, not only just the current, because we had to, instead of uh, pointing it forward, we had to move that arrow to point backwards. And so that we have a reference to that backward place, we had to keep it inside memory. But now with doubly linked list, we have at every single node, we have the previous pointer. So we don't have to do that anymore. We can simply uh, remove this previous, right? Then we have a current, we just iterate over with a while loop. And then remember the iteration is something like this. You first retain the next pointer, you modify the current and then you move forward. See, you have here current equals next and then you know that next is current arrow next. So it's really current equals current arrow next. As we've seen previously, we just have done it in two steps because we are modifying current arrow next. And then we also modify previous because we have to keep track of previous. We don't know what uh, what is previous. We cannot go back with single linked lists. So let's start by first removing previous. We don't need it. We don't need that anymore. So you can simply remove here, get removed. Okay. And this guy is going to complain. It's not really a problem. Uh, first, let's, let's change the name. Let's just call it reverse. And let's also have here, not root, but let's have the tail. And I also want to keep uh, or get the head as well, because remember when you reverse the whole list, tail and head get swapped, right? Inside here, we have one being the tail, but down here, seven is the tail. And similarly here, right? So if you want to reverse that, you're gonna have to uh, swap also both head and tails. So I'm gonna say here, node that and head. Nice. Now, what do we have to do? Well, first we have to iterate over with a while loop because it's it's simply easier with a while loop. We can do, it, we can do this, iteration process in two steps, right? Uh, we are going to start from the tail, not from the root. That's understandable. That's still the beginning basically of our linked list. Then we retain the next and then we should do what? Hmm. Well, we have to swap next and previous for every single node. Well, you already have next here. So you can just say, current arrow next equals, well, current arrow previous, because we have that pointer now, so we don't have to worry about it. 
nice, but we also have to change current arrow previous. So we have to say current arrow previous equals to current arrow next. Well, you cannot say current arrow next because this guy already got changed. So if I were to say this, then guess what? <laughs> this guy is going to be current arrow previous. And since here, this guy is already current arrow previous, we have the same pointer both for next and previous. So we're going to have to say here this auxiliary pointer next that we retained here. So I'm going to say next here. Now these guys both got swapped. And all we have to do is move forward. So now that we swapped all the arrows, there's one last step. Well, uh, after we have swapped all the arrows, well, our tail is still one and our head is still seven, right? But our tail cannot be one because one arrow next is null. And we're not going to get the whole list, we're just going to get the first element. So that's not correct. And one arrow previous is not null, right? So we have to also reverse tail and head. How do we do that? Well, that's very simple. We're going to use an auxiliary pointer. I'm just going to say here aux, and that's going to be, let's say, our tail. And then we make the tail be our head. And then we make the head be our auxiliary pointer, which retains our previous tail. All right, so we just basically have swapped tail and head here. And since we have double pointers to this, we actually, have, we actually will swap these variables from inside the main function. All right, I have already called this function here that reverses the list. The list is one, three, and seven, remember? And if I try to run it now, after reversing it, we're gonna get seven, three, and one. So that works very, very nicely. If we, for example, don't reverse it, we're just gonna get one, three, and seven. Now the nice part about this function, again, is that if you, for example, have the, fun the list being empty, so both tail and head is null. If you try to run it, you're not going to get any sort of crashes because, well, current is going to be tail, which is null. And then since current is null, it's going to uh, skip the whole while loop. And then we're just going to, well, swap both tail and head, but they are already null, so it doesn't really make any difference. And that's really all there is to it. It's, I think it's very simple and straightforward with doubly linked lists. With single linked lists, we've seen that we have to take into consideration the previous pointer, and that was a bit more tricky. But with this guy, we just basically have next, we make it previous, and then previous makes uh, becomes next, and that's about it. We just swap that. And then we also swap the tail and head. If you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this uh, linked list series has helped you understand linked lists better. Take care.